I'm joined with Joe Tomlinson after a disappointing 2-1 defeat to Oxford City. Rather than me telling you how your thoughts are, I'll ask you, Joe, how are you feeling after that? Obviously, it's a <coughs> tough one to take. Uh, never like losing like that, especially when we felt we had the better, better of the chances, the better of it. Uh, we've got to lift our heads up. We're trying to stay positive, trying to keep going. The belief is still in the changing room. Um, we're not giving up and we won't give up. Uh, but it was a tough one today. I thought we had some good chances, um, but we just got to, we've got to find a way to win somehow. A game of definitely two halves, a couple of horror tackles and lots and lots of chances for both sides. Do you feel that on another day that result could have gone a lot differently? Definitely, definitely. Uh, it wasn't our day today. and we've. These are the games that we've got to start turning into wins very quickly. Um, especially when we got it back to one all, felt like we were right in it and we could have got on. We had a few more chances. But those are the games that we've got to start, whether it's home or away, we've got to turn into wins. Got to nick a goal from somewhere and tighten up defensively. Obviously, you could see in the second half that uh, Hungerford switched up the pace a little bit and started going for it a bit more in that last 20 minutes. Fans might be a little bit confused as to why there weren't many shots after the goalkeeper of Oxford City was seen to be limping around his goal and just about stopping a rolling ball uh, after a knee shot uh, going out for a goal kick. Do you feel that Hungerford probably should have taken more shots? Oh, yeah, definitely. You said that the keeper was stuck to his goal line, really. Um, that's something that we should have done a lot better. Um, we tried being too fancy with it, tried passing it in the net when we should have understood the game and what and the circumstances and we should have had more shots yeah definitely and maybe that might, that might have changed things but yeah we needed to that was one of the problems we should, probably should have solved and we should have done but on another day maybe obviously you say we were trying to be a little bit too clever with the goals trying to pass it into the net do you feel that as a club who are currently bottom of the league definitely still in it and still fighting and believing do you feel that's something that you just cannot do at this level yeah definitely especially in the position we're in and we're losing or going a goal behind we've got to start being more direct to go not as in going long I think when we pass it we pass it very well but I think when we get we need to be more clinical around the final third and start getting more shots off and following rebounds getting more crosses in and just flooding the box definitely I think we need to be more of an attacking threat obviously you say you're going to look forward and be positive this Saturday we travel to St Albans what are your thoughts on that game Looking forward to it. Um, it's obviously a big, big game. They're they're not too far above us, so we look. We're we're positive as a team. We're going there. Um, we're going to press them high. We're going to get in their face. We're going to make it horrible, and we're going to we're going to get Hungerford back into the team that no one wants to play against again. And we're going to. I'm sure we're going to get the three points on Saturday. Cheers, Joe.